After what seems an age, we finally have some information from Honeycomb that we can get our teeth into. That includes information on the Charlie rudder pedals, the Alpha Flight controls giving Xbox and PC compatibility, and the Honeycomb Xbox Hub. Details coming up. Welcome to the Sim Hangar. My name's Mark. Thanks for watching, and let's get started. Let's start now with the long overdue Charlie rudder pedals. Pre-orders will open on the 15th of July, and I estimate shipment to customers both US and Europe in and around end of September. The price US dollars 349.99. That's fairly hefty. The price in euros should be in and around that figure, perhaps a little higher. And for UK-based customers, bear in mind there's probably duties on top. This price point puts the Charlie rudder pedals at the mid to upper range. So what are you going to get for your money? My experience with Honeycomb products is they're good quality, so we can expect the rudder pedals to be the same. All alloy, metal pedals, toe brakes of course, tension adjustment, and it's going to come with reversible carpet spikes or large rubber grip surface to stop those rudder pedals sliding away from your feet just when you need them the most. There will be both PC and Xbox compatibility, but on the Xbox side this will be subject to being used with the new hub and new yoke. Details coming up shortly. As you're probably aware, Honeycomb are bringing out a new Alpha yoke. The Alpha Flight Controls XPC, providing both PC and Xbox Direct compatibility. Just a point of clarity here, the existing Alpha Flight Controls will not be Xbox compatible. If you want Xbox compatibility, you're going to need the new Alpha Flight Controls XPC. The product is now open for pre-orders on the Honeycomb site, but I couldn't find anything advertised on their main European distributor, Aerosoft. The price, once again, will be just under 350 US. I expect pre-orders to be somewhat limited in terms of quantity, so if you're interested, best get in early, and shipping in and around mid-September. This new yoke will be more expensive than the PC-only Alpha Flight Controls yoke, which is currently selling for around 280 US. Although if you shop around, you can get a deal. I see Aerosoft currently have it on the market at just over 230 euros, which is a pretty good deal. And like most things in the world that we currently live in, new stock is likely to be more expensive. The new Alpha Flight Controls yoke has all the features of the previous one, plus some extras. Immediately noticeable is a different front grille design, and it will have a spring-loaded five-position ignition switch. The left and right handles feature 13 programmable buttons and switches for customization. And as mentioned previously, both Xbox Series X and S compatible, as well as Windows PC. Most noticeably, however, it's going to feature new high-end 12-bit Hall Effect sensors increasing the resolution of the movement by 400%, with no center detent, and this should allow for much finer graduated movements whilst in flight. One important point to note is the new Alpha Flight Control XPC, when used in conjunction with the Honeycomb Xbox Hub, and we'll be having a look at the details on that just now, will provide compatibility with the existing Bravo Throttle Quadrant, and the upcoming Charlie rudder pedals. Both of these units have to be plugged into the hub, which in turn plugs into the yoke, and that gives them the Xbox Series X and S compatibility. At this stage I'm assuming Xbox One compatibility, but I don't know that for a fact. Details not available at this time. So let's now have a look at the Honeycomb Xbox hub. As per the yoke, it is currently available for pre-order direct from Honeycomb, and the price is 40 US dollars, and will ship the same time as the Alpha Flight Controls XPC, which makes sense. If you've got the original Alpha Flight Controls, don't order the hub. It's not compatible and will not give you Xbox access. This hub will only work with the new Alpha Flight Controls XPC. In addition to its connection to the yoke, it has two USB-A inputs to accommodate the Bravo Throttle Quadrant and the Charlie rudder pedals. According to the specifications given, this hub will also provide compatibility with the Logitech Flight USB throttle and rudder pedals as well, 
which is a considerable bonus, particularly if you've already got these components, which many of us have. But again, a reminder for clarity, it still needs to connect to the Honeycomb Alpha Flight Controls XPC. It does not connect directly to any of the Xbox Series hardware. So the new Alpha Yoke and Honeycomb Xbox Hub are now available for pre-order and the Charlie Rudder Pedals pre-orders opening mid-July. And so what about the other products that have been announced, including the flight sticks and throttle quadrants? Well, I've tried to get this information from Honeycomb, but I've been singularly unsuccessful in getting a response. So I can't update you on those products. In this video, I'm afraid, as soon as I have it to hand, you'll be the first to know. So what are your views on the upcoming Honeycomb products? The Alpha Yoke, Xbox compatibility, Charlie Rudder pedals, and the Xbox Hub? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Honeycomb currently have a range of accessories which I've done a number of videos and reviews on. Links to these videos in the notes below if you'd like to know more. The throttle pack for the Airbus and the rubberized GA trim wheel cover are two of my favourites. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you found this interesting and useful. Stay well, look after yourselves, I'll catch you on the next one and bye for now.